good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio. That stands for Let Us Thank God Radio. We, Jesus, loves him some you, beloved, and uh, he only wants the best for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It is uh, 6, 12 a.m. this June 28, 2013. I do apologize for my starting exactly at 6 a.m. No excuses, no excuses. Amen, amen. Is, uh, there's no technical issue this time. I just want to apologize to you because you're faithful fans. And I appreciate you. I do apologize. To God be all the glory. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Yeah, I remember that uh, Jehovah is the Father. Jesus is the Son of, the, of God, who is Jehovah. And uh, the Holy Spirit is the mind of Christ. Amen. All right now. Also remember to put the words before your the words of God before your eyes daily. It's important uh, to uh, read the word daily. Get you some scriptures. Say Amen and faith daily. We're gonna kick it off with Hebrews eleven and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. John three sixteen and seventeen. <clears throat> for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Deuteronomy 34 and 7. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. And his eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Praise the Lord. That is us, the body of Christ. That's me. I'm claiming it. All this. Amen. Claiming all this. Psalms 147 and 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. John 16 and 13. Howbeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you unto all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And... He will show you things to come. John 14, 23. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Galatians 3.13. Christ have redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us, it is written. A curse is everyone that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit, um, excuse me, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. They are referring to the Holy Spirit. John 1.17, for the law was given by Moses, but Grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Genesis 12, 1 through 3. Now the Lord said to Abram, Depart from thy country and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, to a land that I will show thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless them that bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse them that curse thee. And in that, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. I do apologize. I accidentally read uh, the first half over again. Psalms 37 and 19. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time, and in the days of famine they shall be satisfied. 
Amen. That means you should not go hungry. You should be satisfied. All you have all you need. Amen. And you'll be blessed with what you want. Glory to God. I love that. I absolutely love that. How many of y'all love that? Amen. Getting what you want and getting what you need and what you want. All right now. Good morning, Jehovah. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day. We hear from you, Lord God, and are led by the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, fill our lives and surround us with your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your order, the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus, and his holy and perfect blood. Thank you for our comforter, the Holy Spirit, who leads us into all righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for you are hope. We should keep your word in our hearts and minds. We shall love you, Lord. With all our hearts, minds, souls, and strength, today, Lord, we shall honor you by loving our neighbors. We are blessed to be a blessing. Thank you, Lord, for giving us power and authority over the enemy. When the enemy of God comes against us, it shall suffer the wrath of God. The body of Christ stands on the word of faith, for it is our shield and buckler. Thank you, Lord, for every mountain that's moved and every close of black door that is hindered the preaching of the gospel of Jesus Christ is open. In your name, Jesus, we shall win every living soul and every soul to be born to the kingdom of God, decreasing hell and expanding heaven. Jesus, we love you and believe in your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, for every soul and every person boldly confessing and professing the gospel of Jesus Christ, receiving Jesus into their hearts and living to glorify God. Thank you, Lord. Moses was 120 years old, and when he died, his eyes were, excuse me, it, it actually says, and Moses was 120 years old, and when he died, his eyes were not dim, nor his natural force abated, as Moses was so full with good health, so are we, the body of Christ. We are healed in our bodies and minds, any disease or virus that touches our bodies dies and mind dies instantly. The addicted are delivered now, the hungry hunger no more. Our shoes are replenished and resources never exhausting. For you, Lord Jehovah, our husband, made us rich. Your voice is the only one we follow. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your Holy Spirit leads us into all righteousness. We are always in the right place at the right time. We sow into good soil and reap abundantly. Everything we touch turns to gold. We sow seeds of faith daily. And harvest seeds already sown. Jesus' good pleasure is our good pleasure. Our spirits and bodies are not dumping grounds. We decrease in unbelief in our minds and life. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. We are the beloved, believing you love us and receiving your love. Not subject to temptation, submitting to your will, receiving your blessing in the name of your risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for we always have more than enough all the time. The kingdom of God is manifested in the earth among the redeemed people of God. God's people ask for his wisdom and receive it in abundance. God's people operate in the power of God. God's people have assured dwellings in quiet resting places. God's people are the created and matter in the earth. God's people light shines in all the earth with the help of the Holy Ghost and the angels of the kingdom of God. Jehovah our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Ooh, Ooh don't you? Mm, praise the Lord. God's people are made to live according to God's world, the one man cannot see. If God be for his people, who can be against us? No one. God's people do not take the attitude of defeat. Those who accept defeat do not know who they are, nor their position in the kingdom of heaven. We, the people of God, are the head and not the tails, above and not beneath, Going forward and not backwards, the beloved and a sign of God, we counter our joy when we go up against the giant. We ask God for wisdom and receive it abundantly, standing on the word of the kingdom for all things. We ask God, I'm sorry, we as God's people stand on the word of God and all we believe lines up with the word of God by his divine righteous order. God brings us his people health and healing and reveals to us the abundance of peace and truth. The hope God gives us is achieved and manifested in the earth. We worship God of our own free will, not by force or shame, but by love and honor. In the name of God's risen Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and Savior, Amen. Amen. Now, Jesus said to his disciples, Most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do, because I go to my Father. A Amen. That's what I want to do, y'all. Amen, amen. I receive that. All of it. Amen. The whole thing. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. All right, y'all. We got the uh, altar call coming up in the last five minutes of this segment, and we got music for you. We definitely got me. We got you. So let's uh, fall in love with Jesus. That's so Shawana Hayes. ShawanaHayes.com. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah.
the world. He gave his one and only Son, whosoever shall believe, God will save and set you free. For God's beloved Son, he hung upon a tree and took upon himself the sins of you and me. Humbly suffering in dreadful agony, he cried, My God, why have you forsaken me? Yes, upon that tree, God's handed down decree, the Son's holy life, that's atoning sacrifice, so you and I can cry, I'm a father, tell me why, have you so blessed me?
promises you can't win. Discourage us how you feel, but you have a power. your identity in Christ Jesus. It's about that time to uh, receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior for all those that want to. Remember, Jesus never forces his word on you. He simply died on the cross. It wasn't simple, but he died on the cross for you to pay the price for your sins so you would not have to. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have the everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved, 100%, and he truly, truly only wants the best for you. So now is the time to give your life to Christ and let God know that uh, you want to be in the kingdom with, with him because he wants you there for an eternity, always and forevermore. That's how much he loves you. He, gave, he he allowed his only son to take the punishment for something that his son really should not have had to pay the price for. But he volunteered to do it to save all of us. Amen. So if you want to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and receive forgiveness of all your sins and uh, have a clean slate, an opportunity to re to uh, restore your relationship with the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah God, repeat this prayer confession after me. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sins before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus. I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead, that I am saved, and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place, and from this day forth, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. Amen. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus, by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link, find the church. Get baptized in water, baptized in the Holy Spirit. And remember, Jesus absolutely loves you, beloved. I'm sorry, we already did the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But remember, Jesus loves you, beloved. Uh, follow me to segment number two, which is my piece, and we got that coming up for you. Amen, amen, amen. In just a few minutes. Glory to God. This is Kathy Brock for LUTG Radio.